Alright guys, so I just want to do a uh, quick tutorial on how to print using uh, LibreCAD. Um, a couple of my friends asked me to do this, so I'm just going to do a quick little tutorial. I'll be using the Piper Cub plans that I made. Some of you might be familiar with it. Uh, up here is my B17 plans, or one of the pages, and I'll go over why that's up there later. So what you want to do is, I obviously have several layers, so you're not going to have to worry about any of that. All you're going to have to worry about is this right here and that's your actual object that you've drawn so what you want to do is you want to go to file up here and you don't want to go to print print isn't going to give you anything you want to go to print preview and if you just go to print preview it's going to center all your items in the page with a slight boundary just to make everything fit on the page you can also uh, make the print black and white by doing by selecting this button and then what you can also do is you can change this right here so that your scaling is maybe a little bit bigger or maybe a little bit smaller. So that's going to give you a specific size and print and then all you, have, all you have to do after that, let's say this is what I want to print, all you have to do after that is file and you go to export. Do not export as image, it won't work, export as PDF. I'm just going to save this as tutorial. Oops. We're going to save that. And then let's go take a look at our file. So I use Adobe Acrobat Reader to open these. That's my PDF uh, program. Um, you can also use, uh, there. there's pretty much a lot of built-in programs that are good. Adobe Acrobat Reader, Adobe Acrobat Pro, um, Dreamweaver. There, there's a lot of different programs out there that um, you can use to open these, so that shouldn't be a problem. And uh, it's just going to open right up, and here is your paper. And then all you have to do is just hit print, and it sends it to your connected printer. And there you go, you're done. It's as simple as that. So if you're only watching this video just to see how to print plans, then um, or just how to print anything in general, this is where you want to stop watching the video. However, if you are having trouble doing this and you're getting things that look like this, please stay tuned because I'm going to go over what this is. So if you notice... Um, I use my Piper Cub plans because of uh, uh, for a reason. The Piper Cub plans work. That's why. And you're probably asking yourself, why did I put my B17 plans up in this corner up here? It's because um, after a while, the program LibreCAD actually gets a little corrupted and stuff. So if you actually go and you draw, oops, and you draw a um, a smiley face or something like I did then you're gonna so here's my smiley face right like total length is 628.39 so it's it's not a big smiley however if I go to file print preview the entire thing from side to side fits on a page that's 396,411 inches that's obviously way too big. I don't know why this scaling problem happens. And I don't know what's wrong with the program that caused it to do that. I did reinstall the program um, by deleting everything. I installed it. I used the uninstaller once and that um, did not work. So then I went into my system files and literally deleted every single individual file for this program. And I reinstalled everything and it's still I still get this problem. So what I do to counter this is I very simply I just select all my blocks. Then when I go over I go over here to this panel and I click create block. And then I click somewhere where I want the block to be created and I name it. And then what you can do is you can click on this block and that makes it so your entire thing is visible and invisible. And it makes it so it's one entity. That what you can do is you can select this and you can press save. And this will allow you to save oops. Okay, that works. This will allow you to save your block as a placeable item. So now you can go and import it 
over here using the block thing. So because this doesn't work, this is too big, what we're going to do is we're going to X out of this. We're going to save it. We're going to go back over to our Piper Cub. And now, because I, I know this works, and because I know that I, when I change this to Print Preview, everything's going to be correct, I can go to File, Import, Block, and I can use this, and then I can put this somewhere that I where I, where I want it to be. So I'm going to put it right here, or I'm going to put it right here. And now I can zoom in, and there's my smiley. And just to prove that this works, I'm now going to go to print preview and as you can see my um, this is still very large but if you remember to fit the entire smiley on one page this number right here had to be in the 300 thousands almost 400 thousand but now it's only 4,000 and you can see the smiley is actually very small compared to the other size so so I just want to go over that little glitch I don't know why that happens it's really weird um, I honestly can't say anything about that. That's kind of on the developers of the program to fix. And I'm sure there's a way to fix it. Maybe I accidentally changed the setting or something. I, I, I'm not a professional, um, CAD user. I use it to build plans and stuff. You guys know what I do. So, I don't know all the bells and whistles. But, um, that's just how I fixed it. That's how I got around it. And, um, if you guys know a better way to do this or anything please uh, leave a comment or if you know what's actually wrong with my program uh, please feel free to comment so um, that really helped me out but um, that the first half of the video was just showing you guys how to um, print using a CAD program uh, specifically LibreCAD so I hope you guys enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and uh, yeah so uh, enjoy printing your